please like my videos please subscribe to my channel and please press the bell icon so that you get to know when my latest video has come and to learn more and to find a video relevant to you please do check out my videos list hello namaskar and allah to all my friends from your friend astrologer and guide irfan once more with you from your very own channel astro assurance today we'll be talking about something very very important in our lives and that is the karmic debts that we are carrying in our lives now karmic debt is very different from the karma that we have karma is the duty or the responsibility that we need to do in this life and so the ascendant has some role to play in it the 10th house or the 10th lord has some role to play in it however the overall placements will tell you what your karma is where rahu and ketu are placed will also tell you where your karma is what your strongest planets are what your strongest yogas are all in a combination will give you what your karma is and that is important because all the similar ascendants like for example all aries ascendant people cannot have the same karma all taurus people cannot have the same karma and so on so while you may be born in aries different aries people will have di different karma that they, they need to do different duties that they need to play out and different way that they need to lead their life in however the approach to life will be of the ascendant which will be the aries energy if you are born in the aries ascendant so similarly each ascendant is given the approach to life basis the ascendant that you're born in and what your lagna lord is now the karma is also basis how the planets are and the lagna lord will also play a part in it and an important part however the karmic debt is not about the karma for this life but the debts that you're carrying on from the past which also you have to figure out to pay off so where the karma and the karmic debt differ is like if you're working in an organization whatever your role may be you are the receptionist or you are uh, you know the ceo of the company or you are an hr or you are an operation whatever the, your role may be you take a debt from the company for an education or a property loan whatever so that loan has less to do with your roles and responsibilities in the organization and that debt you will have to pay so there may be one it person there may be a finance person there may be an hr person all three have taken a debt an education loan for an education loan so that education loan debt is what is common to three but their roles are different and that's where the karma in your life is different from the karmic debts that you need to pay the karmic debt is a carry forward that you carry on from your previous lives and that's why the what is important is for you to understand what the karmic debt that you're carrying forward the fifth house is the house of your sanchita karma that means all accumulated karma so far and we know that the second house to any house is the earning of that house so the sixth house from the fifth house is the earning of the fifth house of the sanchita karma and hence the sixth house is also known as the bhrigu bhav or the house of karmic debt and in a life the sixth house is also the house of debts and loans anyways and what do we do when you take loans and when you uh, want to borrow money you get into agreements and that's why the sixth house is also the house of legal documentation pertaining to the um, you know the issues or the trials and tribulations that you need to face in life and also court cases which you may need to run into if you don't if you're not able to pay off the debt so the sixth house is a very very important house in a horoscope and that is what reflect the karmic debt energy that we are carrying now it doesn't mean that for aries ascendant native because you're born in your sixth house has the virgo energies so everybody's karmic debt is related to virgo the base energies are that of the sixth house however where the sixth lord is placed with what doshas it is in or yoga it is in what energies it is sharing with other planets where your lagna lord is placed where your 10th lord is placed where your bhrigu uh, bindu is all will combine to tell you exactly where your karmic debt is and to whom the karmic debt is to which area of life your karmic debt is so at a base level the 6th house will give you the karmic debt energies but that doesn't mean everybody in the same ascendant will have the same karmic debt and that is an important differentiation that we need to have so keeping that differentiation in mind knowing that the 6th house energies is the 
base energy of the karmic debt let's jump into understanding what is the base energy energy of karmic debt for each of the ascendants starting with the aries ascendant now for an aries ascendant native this sixth house is the house of virgo ruled by mercury and the aries ascendant is also the kal purush lagna and so the kal purush lagna in many ways also reflects on what it is for all of us irrespective of ascendant so what are the base energies the base energies for an aries ascendant native with virgo being the ruler of the sixth house which means service to others is the base and service to others using a common sense using a logic using a intelligence so in an intelligent way using a intelligence serving others is the base energy of the karmic debt for an aries ascendant native and that base energy of serving others using our intelligence using the consciousness which is given to us by the zodiac runs across all the ascendants however when you get to other ascendants the flavors changes but the, at the very dna level it remains same for everybody that is to serve and with logic and with intelligence now for aries ascendant native virgo being also the sign of the sixth house and being ruled by mercury which means that you need to be able to do your karmic debt or pay off your karmic debt with a lot of logic with a lot of intelligence but to serve because virgo is the energy of serving but to use the analytical power the ability to balance between what is you that you need and how you serve others because aries is about yourself the lagna what you want to achieve for yourself what stature you want to achieve for yourself what position in life you want to achieve for yourself what goals that you have for yourself and you are going to chase the goals and run rush headlong into those goals however the sixth house keeps reminding you that it is to serve one of the main areas for you is to serve and that is the meaning that is the essence of life and use your intelligence use your energy given by the aries ascendant to serve others and use your logic use your problem solving ability look deep down don't rush into things but be analytical take a back seat use data use quantitative data to look at how you can serve others how you can make your service more meaningful and then you serve others serve others with logic with intelligence with pragmatism and with all the energy at hand and that is the base energy of a karmic debt for aries ascendant native what is the karmic debt energies for a taurus ascendant native for a taurus ascendant native the base energies are that of libra ruled by venus so here venus is the common thread venus rules the lagna and venus also rules the sixth house so virtue of being in a placement where the lagna lord is also ruling the sixth house this means that i for a taurus ascendant native rather than chasing materialism your karmic debt is to relationships which represented by the libra sign and so relationships are also the challenge relationships also are the wavering point for you where you will waver because sixth house will always put you in this you know challenge where you may waver away from your responsibility so not chasing materialism but chasing relationships not earning money but earning relationships and being balanced in your relationship being balanced towards your spouse being balanced towards your parents being balanced towards your gurus being balanced towards your children and not losing the focus not losing the balance between relations not picking and choosing one relation over the other but being true being fair being just to all relationships is the libra energies of at, at the base level what the taurus energies are and so for a taurus ascendant native be true your relationship don't chase materialism but trying to earn relationship and be fair to them and be balanced to them and learn to form associations learn to earn relationships and form those partnerships form those contracts so that money become a secondary becomes a residue to the relationships and you will find that you will have more ease and life and more peace of mind if you do that now what is the karmic debt for a gemini ascendant native now for a gemini ascendant native the karmic debt comes from the sixth house having scorpio energies now what are the scorpio energies the scorpio energies are about facing upheavals facing challenges facing issues 
facing issues, facing uh, challenges come out from you or thrown at you as obstacles or sudden upheavals which come in your life, sudden issues that come into your life and suck up all your energy. But Gemini is the sign of duality of mind. So here you are not sure whether you should focus on yourself or you should focus on solving problems, solving upheavals, especially when the upheavals and challenges are for somebody else rather than you. So should you really get into somebody else's challenges, somebody else's problems. And also sometimes it so happens you face a duality of mind where you don't know what higher responsibility to take up and which direction to move in. So sometimes we end up becoming too materialistic in our pursuit and forget the larger dimension of the responsibility, the karmic responsibility. And so when upheavals and challenges are thrown at us, we get confused. What should I do? Which direction should I go? How should I handle and tackle it? You will find that you will find it to be easing off if you focus on understanding the deeper meaning of life which the six house energies of Scorpio represent and be able to face upheavals and challenges with the clarity of your mind. So being clear in your mind that obstacles, upheavals, issues, challenges is a way of life and through that ability to face with a clear mind is how you will be able to pay off your karmic debt. Gemini is also the sign of a lot of energy, enthusiasm, self-enterprise and clear communication, how you market and brand yourself. So the way you need to market and brand yourself is a person who is not afraid to face upheavals, not afraid to take to take challenges head on, is ready to take responsibility and help others in serving others and understanding the deep, deeper disseminations of that. Because the Scorpio energies are that also that of Mars, but also the, the, the most or deepest of deep waters right at the bottom. So de delving deep into life's challenges and issues and helping others and through that also helping your karmic debt is the underlying energy. So if you are born in a, as a Gemini ascendant native, keep in mind that upheaval challenges issues may be a way of life and where the upheaval and challenges may also come in is not only to you but also to others who work below you. And so to colleagues, to people who work, who serve you may also be. So in helping them face their challenges and face their upheavals and learning from those experiences and contributing them is the basic karmic debt for a Gemini ascendant native. Now what is the karmic debt for a Cancer ascendant native? For a Cancer ascendant native, the sixth house energies are that of Sagittarius. Now Sagittarius is a sign ruled by Jupiter. And where does Jupiter get exalted in? Jupiter gets exalted in Cancer sign. And for a Cancer sign person, the ninth house is also the house of or the sign of Pisces, again ruled by Jupiter. So the sixth sign being that of Sagittarius, which is the natural ninth house, here it means that your karmic debt lies to Gurus, lies to your father maybe and to higher learning which means you may be carrying on the karmic that way you somewhere somehow were not able to pay your due respect to or do justice to your learning or your higher learning or to gurus or to father and so that karmic threat is continuing in this life now this is at a very deeper meaning level for different cancer ascendant natives based on where Jupiter is placed, what other planetary combinations are involved, the karmic debt may be slightly different and moving in different directions. But at the base level, it means that the karmic debt lies to Gurus, to higher learning and to Father. And Jupiter is the higher dissemination also of that. So, your karmic debt is to be able to treat the Father very well, treat higher learning, or pay attention to Gurus, pay attention to your studies, focus on studies and not be emotionally overawed by a responsibility. Many times cancer people will find that they may run into challenges either with father or in your emotionality or with gurus or in your education. So any of these could be a stumbling block. So your karmic debt is to pay off the karmic the, uh, the debts to fathers and gurus. What are the Sagittarius energies? Sagittarius energies is also to think beyond and not to be caught up in the general tendencies of society, the general outlook of society to move beyond and to be adventurous, to be free spirited and not to be shackled. 
So the cancer energy is having the sixth house energies of Sagittarius means open up the shackles of that karmic death by being emotionally intelligent, by, uh, by the ability to hold yourself steadfast when challenges hit you, especially related to higher learning. So learning from your high experiences and not being emotionally vulnerable. Sagittarius is also the, the energies of high energy which you face through life's experiences. So when life throws challenges at you, issues at you, upheavals at you, use that experiences to learn higher, to understand life at a deeper meaning, face and accept those, uphe those upheavals, those challenges without being emotionally vulnerable and being emotionally steadfast. And so that is your karmic debt if you are a Cancer Ascendant native. If you are a Leo Ascendant native, then the sixth house energies are that of Capricorn. Now, what is Capricorn? Capricorn is represented by Saturn. Saturn rules the Shudras, the people who work most at the, at the bottom of the pyramid. These are the people who are the workers, who are the ones who serve you. They may be security guards, they may be the person who, uh, who the plumber, the fitter, the carpenter who work or serve you in different ways, the maid who comes to your house to work for you, somebody comes and takes some money to do some service in the house, um, in the garage, at the garage, the mechanic. So people who are the bottom of the of the pyramid and they, they do at the base level jobs or even the menial jobs. That is the energy of the sixth house. But also of duty, of commitment, of following rules and regulations. So here, having the Leo energies of the Ascendant which means that your karmic debt is to those people. The leadership role is given to you not to lead and to become the king but you become a king by serving. So serving those people who are right down at the bottom of the pyramid, treating them very well is the karmic debt or the energy or the strain of karmic that you are carrying from past. So taking it as a duty taking it as your biggest responsibility, taking that as your karma which Capricorn energies represent and being dutiful, being diligent, being disciplined about serving others, taking care of the bottom of the bottom people which means being nice to them, um, never hesitate to smile at them, smile for them, stand up for them, guide them, help them and that through that show your leadership as somebody who can uh, take up their causes. So when you are at work or wherever you are, whenever you find such people who are bottom of the pyramid, you get any chance to do something for them. If nothing else, share a good word for them, share a joke with them, smile at them, treat them very, very well, treat them with respect. And if any manner, you can pay off the karmic debt by treating them very, very well, serving them very well, taking care of the people who work right at the bottom of the pyramid. Especially if you are a leader, then you will find that your leadership role will be enhanced, the karmic debt will also ease off and the mental tension and challenges will also feel reduced if you are a Leo Ascendant native. What is the karmic debt energies for a Virgo Ascendant native? The karmic energies for a Virgo Ascendant native is with the sixth house energies being that of Aquarius. Now see the differentiation between them. Aquarius is the big thinker, thinking at a large society level, holistic thinking, thinking much beyond yourself and not paying attention to the nitty gritties, looking at the larger picture. What is Virgo? Virgo is the person who is looking at the deepest and the deep meanings, being very very analytical, in fact being very myopic to the smallest of the small things, being complaining, nitpicking and trying to have a perfectionist approach. Now I am talking about the general tendencies for a Virgo person. Every Virgo person may not be the same depending on how strong your Mercury is, how your different planetary placements are. The perfectionist attitude, the complaining attitude, the analytical attitude, the trying to put everything together correctly and trying to work out a perfectionist attitude may be some more for some and less for some. However, that approach to life is definitely be there when you are very analytical, you look at things with data and look at smallest of small things to perfect them and correct them before you move on to larger things. But the six house energies are that of Aquarius which means the karmic debt for you is the energy that you are carrying forward is that you have to look at the bigger picture and you cannot move on without looking at the bigger picture. That means stop looking at yourself or don't look at inherently within yourself or don't be too overawed by small small things which have less meaning in life. Don't give too much attention to or too much importance to the smaller issues in life. Look at the larger issues in life. Look at life holistically. 
and the Aquarius energy is also larger society at large. So, serving which Virgo energy is represent to the society at large, using your analytical ability, using your ability to be able to separate the rice from the shaft and holding up and doing and serving society so that you are able to help at a larger social level rather than at a very very basic level and at the basic existence level. So, Aquarius also represent large organization. So, if you are working in the large organization, try and see what is the overall meaning of the job or the service that you do and find more value in that rather than looking only at your salary, looking at the take home, what you need to do or what your department is or the next presentation that you need to do or the next meeting that you need to do, but look at the larger overall goal that you are serving and try and be more service oriented than at a only organization level. Think at the larger society level, at a holistic level, what you can do. And this also means have better relationship at a social level. Don't have social challenges, don't be too picky when uh, connecting with friends, ha be larger hearted, forgive people more and have large heart to have more people, involve more people in your life. Even if you uh, keep you know, distance and keep some of the privacy to yourself and be more outgoing think at a larger social level and try and help as many people as possible and that is the basic level or the underlying uh, base level meaning of the karmic debt for a Virgo ascendant native. What is the karmic debt for a Libra ascendant native? Now if you see, if you remember for a Taurus ascendant native, the sixth house energy is that of Libra which is ruled again by Venus. Now for Libra which is ruled by Venus, the sixth house energies are that of Pisces where Venus gets exalted. So, the Venus connection continues whether you are a Taurus ascendant native or a Libra ascendant native. And this has a very deeper meaning because Venus is a planet which stands more for materialism and the worldly manifestation, looking at intimacy, looking at the better life, the good quality of life, relationship and also materialism. So, if you are born as a Libra ascendant native, then the sixth house energy is that of being that of Pisces where Venus gets exalted which means your exaltation will come from how you serve others and Pisces is to give up and to be more spiritual and to be more submissive to the will of the Lord. So if you are born as a Libra ascendant native then your underlying base level signature or the karmic debt signatures is to be ready to give up and expect less from others to be relationship oriented rather than money oriented which is Libra represents. To be fair, to be balanced in your outlook, seek more for others than for yourself, be ready to give up for others where relationships are concerned, form stronger relationships and be more submissive to the will of the Lord to give you back what you think is due to you rather than chasing after that or running after that and in the bargain not losing your relationship. So being more relationship oriented being more balanced, being more fair and justice oriented and doing for others and not looking back at what you are getting back from others, being more spiritual. Nothing will go to waste when you look at the Pisces energies which are also the energies of the 12th house of waste and excess. The waste and excess will come to you if you forego relationships for money or resources. So chase relationships, be fair, be balanced and that is the karmic that you need to pay off to do for others, to be more spiritual, to be more imaginative and creative in how you do service to others and not by it bat an eyelid when you need to give. So in giving, you will also be getting and that is the basic level of energies that is for a Libra ascendant native where you are, the karmic debt you are carrying forward is that probably you were not justice oriented, you didn't give more than you got and so in this life you have to give more, you have to serve others better than what you have done earlier and that is the spiritual dissemination for a Libra ascendant native at a karmic level. Now what is the karmic debt for a Scorpio ascendant native? For a Scorpio ascendant native the sixth house energies are that of Aries. Aries is also ruled by Mars just like Scorpio. So yeah, generally what we find if you are born as a Scorpio ascendant native, upheavals, issues, obstacles suddenly hit you without warning 
and many times you feel that or you find yourself you get entangled into other people's issues other people's upheavals other people's challenges and many times because getting entangled into that without knowing and that is the mystery also for scorpio ascendant native you don't know why you get sucked up into other people's challenges into other people's dramas and so many at the time you are untangling that for others it could be a spouse it could be children it could be a boss it could be for your organization it could be for a certain goal that you have or certain kras that you have but many of the time you are doing things for others or you you are hand, trying to solve other people's issues or doing for others so you are earning for others you are living for others you are solving other people's challenges and sometimes the mystery of life is not open to you and you are always in this frustration and confusion where will i live for for myself so the aries energy tells you that because aries is also about the thinking ability and aries also represent the kalpurush lagna which means through these upheaval through these challenges you will be able to rise yourself higher so don't think too much about self be ready to face the obstacles upheavals and challenges which may come to you at at many times even regular intervals and you get confused why am i always facing these challenges why am i so misunderstood why people don't Uh, do much for me why am i not appreciated why am i not acknowledged the challenge could be the karmic debt you are carrying from forward where you may have thought too much for about yourself you must have been too goal oriented earlier on and you went had to do what you wanted to achieve and others upheavals others challenges others obstacles were left behind and so you have been born in the scorpio sign the native that you have been asked to carry that responsibility forward and so you with the sixth house energy is that of aries that you your goal your energy has to be or to continue to be to face upheaval obstacles obstacles challenges with a smile with the energy with a strong will power to be over to be able to overcome them and to do for others which also in the kal purush kundli the sixth house energy is that of virgo to serve so to serve others in their upheavals their obstacles their issues their challenges while learning to smile when you face yours and using that with all your energy all your drive all your will power all your motivation is the karmic debt which is given to a scorpio ascendant native now what is the karmic debt for a sagittarius ascendant native sagittarius is the sign ruled by jupiter but sagittarius is also a sign of being very duty oriented even very religious about your feeling your faith and belief so for you your faith and belief whatever you believe in or not believe in is very very important for you how you look at important is very 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 close to you and you don't want to be shackled too much into something which you feel is holding on to you and not allowing you to move forward sagittarius always wants to move forward you have this adrenaline rush you are have this wanderlust you want to keep moving you want to explore you are very adventurous also so you are somebody from within you are looking at a larger life larger go, uh, you know um, the world you want to move you want to travel you want to meet different people you want to explore you want to experience different things six house energies for a sagittarius ascendant native is that of taurus or materialism so sometimes it so happens that the shackling of you or the unshackling of you is the material resources and many times you find that you get too caught up in the material side of life so either a home or a relationship or the goals or the project work or your boss something or the other is holding on to you and you're not able to move forward and that also becomes something that frustrates you gives you anxiety anxiety and you are not able to live the life that you want you are not able to be more adventurous you are not able to be more you know as sagittarius people would say true sagittarius people would say i don't have a life so uh, having more life in your life is what sagittarius energies are all about so to be advent- adventurous to be this fun living to go outside think out of the box and to get higher learning out of life by going and experiencing different things different cultures different relationship also so don't be too caught into by materialism explore the world explore the world with a smile and don't hesitate to part from your resources material resources to let go for so that you are able to actually 
unchain yourself from the material resources so the unchaining of the sagittarius person is from the material side so don't be too caught up in your money in your house in your car in your relationship but explore and through the experiences get a high learning sagittarius is one of a very very lucky ascendants to be born and having very very strong uh, moon trigon sign energies of jupiter so and the opportunity is given to you to be more spiritual and rising higher through those experiences those experiences will come to you life experiences will also come to you when you explore and those exploration will happen more when you let go of the the resources the money resources the financial crunch or the uh, or the worldly resource or worldly crunch that uh, uh, you know attaches to you whether it's relationship or job boss or whatever so while you do this think bigger don't be overwhelmed by problems look at the deeper meaning of the problems keep smiling keep moving forward get unshackled from all of this don't let all of these hold you back whenever you want to do anything what you want to do move on and be be explorative explorative uh, be more adventurous do your responsibilities but seek less for yourself and give more the more you give the more you unshackle for what you want from the material resources you will find that the high learning will come to you high experiences will come to you the karmic debt will also be paid off and you will find more meaning in your life that is the karmic debt for a sagittarius ascendant native with the taurus energies now what is the karmic debt energies for a capricorn ascendant native for a capricorn ascendant native the 6th house energies are that of gemini and the capricorn person is about commitment responsibility duty but also slowness and stability and so sometimes getting too caught up in chasing security in life chasing stability in life and many times feeling unappreciated not feeling that you get the recognition from your superiors from your managers not feeling that people are recognizing you and you are not getting the fruits of your labor and so sometimes the duality of the sixth house comes in should it really put in so much effort because i am not getting the fruits of my labor i am not getting the fairness other people are not following their duty while i am doing their are du- uh, my duty so for a capricorn ascendant native with the capricorn energies the sixth house energies being that of gemini which also represents energy self enterprise enthusiasm hard work and effort which means continue to do your hard work continue to be committed continue to follow rules and regulations and don't be in the dual minded think that whether i should really do or not you do your karma leave the fruits of labor to the higher authority to the supreme authority your branding which gemini energies represents the branding the labeling that you have to do the marketing and communication that you need to is to do to others is that you are a committed person you are a responsible person and come what may you will not let go of the threats of being responsible by being committed by following rules and regulations and being willing to work long hours and not getting resorting to shortcuts and not be dual minded about how you are able to serve others and to contribute to others gemini energies is also to communicate so communicate to others that you are ready to help communicate and have a branding the standing that you have in society should be that this person is ready to help this person helps the person is committed to helping others the person is disciplined in how he helps others this person is stable brings in a lot of stability in how he works how he serves others because capricorn energies are that of saturn and the sixth house energies are serving the people at the right at the bottom of the curve so the people who are really downtrodden who are bottom of the curve helping them serving them doing your duty with a sense of responsibility not being dual minded about it and being able to communicate that you are you will continue to be a responsible caring committed person to others and a disciplined person and not wavering in your duty is the karmic that debts that you need to carry which you which you may have missed out earlier and that is the karmic debt for a capricorn ascendant native the karmic debt for a aquarius ascendant native with the sixth house energies that of cancer is a very very clear cut sign aquarius is the energies of thinking at a larger level at a social level and being able to contribute and do for society the sixth house energies are that of cancer which is also to nurture to support to care to nourish and so being able to nurture and support and do for others do for society without being too overwrought by the emotional attachment emotional challenges which you may face 
in trying to do at a social level at a worldly larger level aquarius also represents the large organizational energy energy so if you're working in the large organization sometimes you feel too lost you feel too small you feel too little to be able to contribute and do more for others and sometimes the emotional attachment to the goals may not be there you may be doing work more for a salary for the security to keep the kitchen fire burning and to make your life comfortable so being born in the aquarius ascendant with the 6000 energies of cancer is telling you that the challenge for you is to continue to nurture others support others and emotionally attach yourself to nurture and support others rather than being attached to your causes what you feel is important so aquarius energies is one of the very powerful energies to be able to bring about a social change but you can't bring about a social change unless you are mentally attached emotionally attached to the larger goal that it is in front of you so many times aquarius people do feel that larger society challenges are important but they st- they even in spite of that they tend to be more myopic and tend to look within themselves and that is the challenge for you in your early life probably you were myopic you were not able to look beyond yourself and that's why the aquarius energies have been given to you but with the mental capacity the emotional capacity to attach yourself to the larger goal and to contribute to larger society's goals so if you are born as an aquarius ascendant native look at what society goal really appeals to you what you really feel needs to be done and then pick up the cudgels pick up the energy and do something in that direction through your communication through your effort through donation through service through giving some time and maybe at a larger level so if you have born as an aquarius ascendant native to nurture to support others for a certain cause at a social level at a world level which things which appeals to you and which you feel is important is the karmic that that you are carrying if you are born as a pisces ascendant native then your fifth house energies then your sixth house energies are that of leo what is pisces pisces is a very spiritual energy pisces also represents the 12th house energies of giving up of losing of wasting things away and so because it is all right on the cusp of the next of the nether world and so it's very very important for you to be able to give up your attachment to materialism and to this world so that you can get the fruits of the nether through leadership which is represented by the leo energies of the 6th house leo is about leadership leo is about being able to the king does for everybody else while sitting on the throne so the highest responsibility is given to the king the sun which rules leo but sun is also the soul and pisces is a very spiritual sign which means the soul's energies of the 6th house while the pisces ascendant is off is is on the cusp where you need to give up is for the soul to be ready to take the leadership to do for others and to be ready to give up your needs your causes your issues so that you serve others because pisces has the very moksha energies and leo energies is also representative of the fifth house which is the house of the sanchita karma so at a very karmic level and being ruled by sun which represents the soul so at a karmic level the soul level giving up and being ready to get into the next world through leaving a legacy behind so pisces is about leaving a legacy behind what example are you leaving behind how will people remember you long after you have gone what will you be leaving behind as your leadership as your example maybe as a philanthropist so not keeping anything in hand doing everything for others while living and giving off everything for others while going is the energies of pisces ascendant native with the six house energies that being of leo so you taking the lead in doing for others you taking the lead in giving up you be taking the lead in using your imagination your creativity of being truly spiritual at a soul level is the underlying energy of a pisces ascendant native so friends now that we have discussed the karmic death level basic level energies of all the 12 signs look at how your planetary placements are placed which area they are pointing towards which direction they are pointing towards which area of life they are pointing towards which relationship they are pointing towards and work towards that and try and shed off as much as karmic debt as possible so that your soul is lighter and moving on and raising your level spiritually is 
comes easier to you so friends like this video share this video and if you're looking for a personal consultation for me please reach out to me the links given below until some other time with some other video this is your friend astrologer and guide Irfan signing off ciao